anything. I am a quarter. Made more progress than I thought I would. It's a fucking workout. The emotional tie that I have to these clothes. But I honestly am just in the mood to get rid of shit. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get into today's video, I'm going to get Starbucks because I'm having a midday crash. I feel like every day around the afternoon, I just get exhausted. To get me through this shit, I'm going to need some Starbucks. So that's what's happening. On this gloomy, sad afternoon, we're going to be cleaning my closet. We'll get into that later. I've literally been putting it off for weeks and weeks and weeks and I just really need to get it done. Why is this road so bumpy? I don't know. I'm home. It's time. I have been fucking procrastinating for the past like 30 minutes since I've been home, but it needs to be done. I've been putting this off for weeks, months even, and it just really needs to get done. I need to reorganize. I need to get it together. I ordered a couple of things online that should help with organization, but I am literally running out of space in this room, which is fucking crazy because I feel like I have a lot more room than I've ever had before, but I will say this apartment doesn't have the biggest closet space. I am so lucky that I was able to turn this bedroom into a whole closet because the only two closets in this whole apartment literally would have been these two little ones. So I'm so blessed that I could turn this whole wall into a closet, but it still isn't like the most functional space wise. So I definitely need to let things go in order for this to be like fully functional again. I don't know. I'll show you guys the current state. It's really, it's not that messy. I just have so many new clothes that like I don't have anywhere to put. And then like my shelves themselves are so hard to look through because they're so jam packed. So I know that there's things I can let go of and I just need to fucking pull the trigger. Let's do it. Like I have so much stuff I don't wear. It's ridiculous. Okay, this is what it's looking like. I feel like I have a lot of sweatshirts I can get rid of. My pants, I feel like this is not, uh, it's just not ideal. I don't know, like I, yeah, I don't know. It's just jam packed. These are like so fucking tight. I can't even fit anything anymore or really look through them. So it's crazy. And then in here, it's really packed too. A lot more sweatshirts and my drawers too. Like I can't fit a single thing. Here's a bunch of folded clothes that just don't have anywhere to go. It's just a lot. I also have fashion week coming up in a couple of weeks and I literally like can't put together outfits because I can't even see what I have. So I kind of think I want to start with sweatshirts. I think I might need to like throw them all on my bed and just start there. Okay, eh, I don't like this. Nobody's sweatshirt collection needs to be this big. Are we literally kidding? I know for a fact I do not wear all of these hoodies and I honestly didn't even know that they all were in there. Some of them I'm going to donate and then other ones I want to bring to my parents' house because I love having hoodies there. I need to like never buy another hoodie ever again. I have so many that I like actually like. I do have a mini pile though of stuff to get rid of and a few that I would like to bring to my parents' house. So any dent is progress, so, okay. I am like profusely sweating after putting those sweatshirts away, but we have all of these folded up, organized in there and then on this side, I have all my hoodies and like white fox hoodies and I have some extra room, so. Holy shit, okay, um, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Like when I tell you guys, I'm like the worst, okay. Like I need somebody to be here like holding me hostage until this is done. Okay, this is kind of random, but I think next I want to take all 
of my tote bags out and decide which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to get rid of. I get so many tote bags from events and I keep them all because I am like a hoarder, but I feel like I just don't use them all. I don't need them all. And I also ordered this like hook thing to put behind my door for all my bags. Once that comes tomorrow, that'll be nice to organize them. But for now, I'll show you how I have some of them organized. I literally have a bunch of them just on a hanger and it is so annoying and just like takes up so much room in here. I need a better system. Okay, I already had to change into shorts because I am dying. And I also filled one bag already. This Amika bag, I feel like I'm never, ever, ever, ever gonna use it. So I'm gonna fill it up with some sweatshirts that I want to bring to my parents' house, I think. I don't really know if they're gonna fit in here actually but i honestly am just in the mood to get rid of shit i don't know i feel like things hold energy and there's just too many things in my apartment right now and it's absurd also this is my last garbage bag so amazing amazing oh my god every time that i clean my closet or just anything that has dust Without fail, I get so stuffed. I'm so allergic to dust. So I'm like really fighting for my life right now. Like this was so cute and trendy at a time, but I just feel like it's not cute and trendy or my vibe anymore. So she's gotta go. And the thing is like if things come back in style, whatever, I just can't hold on to things because they might come back in style one day. Like I just can't. Okay, for now, I put all my tote bags in this one bigger tote bag until the thing comes that I'm gonna like organize them on tomorrow. So that's that for now. But I decided while I'm in the bag department, I'm gonna go through my purses because there's definitely some I do not wear anymore. Okay, here are some just off the jump that I like no, I don't wear. Like, I don't know. I feel like these little hard bags just aren't really my style. I like shoulder bags better. And then the cow print, again, I just don't think it's really like my style. I don't know. I like more of a simple classic bag now. Oh my god. I'm like so overwhelmed for no fucking reason right now. This is like taking it all out of me but i organized my bags they look really cute i really want to get another one of these and put it on this side and put more bags and stuff on there but i don't really know we'll see i also organized my workout sets and my hats and i'm getting rid of some of the stuff that was in those drawers but i'm just so overwhelmed when it comes to all of this like i don't even know where to begin i'm really scared i think i might take it all off of the hangers or not the hangers all off the racks and then back up by like what i'm keeping i don't know i'm so stressed like it's just too much and i'm starting to get just like tired I have so many black shirts, this is fucking crazy. I just wanna be Frankie right now. Are you kidding? Or boo, that'd be either one. I'll take either one, I'm not picky. Okay, I'm just gonna go through every single piece and hopefully get rid of a lot of things. And while I do that, I decided that I would answer some of your guys' questions that you asked me on Instagram to make this hopefully less painful for me. Okay, the first question is tips on moving away from home alone and making friends. I think that this is a great question. So if you don't know, two years ago, I moved out of my parents' house and I moved all the way to Los Angeles, California by myself. That was the first time I ever was living on my own, which was so freaking crazy and such a big change for me. I feel like for me personally, I was just so cooped up because I didn't go to college. I didn't go away to school. So I was just craving that independence that all my other friends were getting by going to school. Also COVID happened right after I graduated high school. So I was just really cooped up in my hometown and i just wanted out so i feel like i didn't even like think about it and i just dipped i barely thought about it and i just went off to california i like have a love hate with these strappy tops because like am i over them i can't tell i used to love them so much and now i'm like i like i don't know if i love or hate them anyway i feel like for me i just wanted it so bad that when it was actually happening i was just excited more than anything to just like have that freedom but some of my tips would be probably be one don't be afraid to like ask for help i feel like even though you're moving away from your parents they still are going to be willing to help you with certain things my mom came 
and visited me when I was like moving out of my apartment, helped me pack, helped me do everything. She also came with my brother like right when I moved in and helped me set things up and stuff. Like just because you're moving away and moving out on your own doesn't mean that you're like completely on your own, you know? When it comes to making friends, you literally just have to put yourself out there really take advantage of social media that's how i met all of my friends when i moved away and just like all the friends that i've had and made after high school have all been really like through social media honestly i feel like that's the only way i know how to make friends now i don't know i feel like it's just so easy to make friends on social media it's so easy to find people that you have like common interests with and stuff why is this on a hanger i feel like it looks like a fucking sports bra also keep in mind that when you are moving to a new place it can feel so so lonely and it can feel really scary and it feels like everybody else like has their people already or whatever but there are so many people in the same boat as you way more people than you realize and the right people that are supposed to cross your path along that way will 100 percent. somebody else asked do you want a roommate sometimes i honestly like think about what it would be like to have a roommate and i do think it probably would be fun because realistically this is the only time in my life where where I could have a roommate that's not like my husband and my children. Like I know one day down the line, I'm gonna be engaged and I'm gonna get married and I'm gonna have kids. And then obviously I'll be living with my significant other and my family. So right now is truly like the only freaking time that I really could live with friends. And so like, I definitely have took that into consideration, but at the same time, I really love living on my own. I have so much fucking stuff. Like, I don't even know what <laughs> living with somebody would look like for me because of that. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Like if it made sense down the line to live with one of my like closest friends, like I do think that'd be such a great fun opportunity. It would really have to be the perfect scenario. I'm gonna put all of these tops back and then I'm gonna bring my colored shirts and we're gonna run through some more questions because when I'm being distracted, I'm not thinking about the emotional tie that I have to these clothes. Like this shirt right here, I literally wore to my senior luncheon in high school. Like why do I still fucking have it? It's gotta go. Okay, I just put all of my black and white shirts back in my closet and now I have all of these colored ones and I'm stressed out, there's so many. Okay, somebody asked me, what is your advice for someone who wants to be more independent but is scared? For starters, I think that you can't expect yourself to just go from like not independent to super independent overnight. It's just not realistic. And if you have that mindset, then you're just gonna be disappointed when you can't do certain things alone, you know? So I think starting small is the way to do it. Like starting with little trips to the grocery store by yourself or Target, like literally the tiniest things do that alone first go to a coffee shop by yourself go on a walk by yourself something that you wouldn't normally do alone do it by yourself but it doesn't need to be like the most extravagant crazy thing like you don't have to go eat in a restaurant alone yeah, i feel like sometimes we feel like we need to start in like the hardest spot which is just not the case at all i think starting with something simple like doing a very very simple errand that you normally would make somebody go with you to do Doing that alone is the place to start. And just be it. Be kind to yourself. Take it easy. Take it slow. Don't be mad at yourself if you backtrack. Like if one day you're super independent and then the next day you need to lean on somebody a little bit more. Don't be mean to yourself because, you know, slow growth is still growth. And growth is not linear whatsoever. And honestly, becoming independent is a very slow process. If you aren't independent at all right now, you can't expect yourself to just become super independent overnight. I feel like when it comes to colored clothes, it takes me so much more to get rid of them because I have less colorful clothes. So I just like feel inclined to keep everything. I can't do that. I really can't. I'm trying my best guys. What is your advice for someone who wants to date in her twenties but is scared? It is scary. Dating is scary. I feel like it's so scary to put yourself out there, but first dates are always scary. But I will say that the buildup to a date is a lot scarier than the actual date. Like every single time I've ever had a first date, I am so nervous right before, and then I get there and it ends up going so fine. And everything I was thinking in my head 
was just like bullshit and it's never as bad as I think it's gonna go, you know? Also, if you're just scared of like going out with a stranger because that's literally terrifying, you could go out with like mutuals or like tell a friend that maybe is in a relationship. Like if your boyfriend like has any friends like that you think I would be cute with, like set it up, you know? Like I just feel like I hear so many stories of people that have met their significant other through a mutual friend. So I feel like taking advantage of that is good and just meeting people through people that you already know makes it a little bit less scary because it's not like you're meeting up with a complete stranger just remind yourself that you're the prize these guys are lucky to be able to take you on a date and they're lucky to get to know you so you just have to freaking remind yourself of that but i will say dating apps are not as scary as you may think if you even just download them like as a joke you never know what could come out of it i know so many people that have met people through dating apps and are in amazing relationships now so i feel like download the apps make your profiles with your friends have a little wine night go through the freaking guys on there it's so fun honestly it's like a game and if you treat it as something that's just like chill and whatever it doesn't feel as scary to like be on the apps and then who knows maybe you'll match with literally your dream man and you'll look happily ever after i don't know but it all starts with just like dipping your toes in the water and once you go on one date it just will you know open a can of worms guys i'm doing so fucking good i'm getting rid of so many things like i'm so proud of myself right now what's your relationship like with food and the gym and your body i feel like i never answer questions like this just because it's a very sensitive topic i feel like i really honestly have been struggling with this and this is another reason why i wanted to go through my clothes because i have a lot of clothes like this one for example that don't fit me anymore and i'll keep things in my closet and i'll say oh I'll keep this because maybe I'll fit into it again one day. And I feel like it has just been a really toxic thing that I've done because then I look at those clothing pieces and I'm reminded that I don't fit in them. And it's been months of me saying, oh, maybe I'll fit in that soon. And it just doesn't happen because I've grown out of it and that's fine. So I feel like letting go of those pieces, it's just gonna be, it's gonna help me out. But yeah, dealing with body image in your 20s is really, really tough and it's difficult and it's just, it's a weird thing. I just finished going through all my colored tops. So now I'm going to put these away and we'll see what the next task is going to be to tackle. But I feel really good. Like I have let go of so many clothes. Like this is probably the most amount of clothes that I've gotten rid of in one sitting in a really, really long time. And I'm so happy about it. If you guys saw my last closet clean out video, I literally got rid of nothing, like barely anything. So this is really good. I'm really proud. Okay, I'm getting rid of all of these clothes everything in these two bags. I need to put all these clothes in this bag, but I feel so good. I have all these hangers, so now I can hang up all the clothes that I've been waiting right here. And also there's like room, like I can move everything around, not like amazingly, but like, you know, it fits well and comfortably. I just went through my dresses, organized those. So far we're doing really great. I need to go through my pants next, which is really stressing me out. I hate trying pants on, but gotta be done oh slay he's actually fucking fit i'm just going through my pants really quick and just like speed rounding getting rid of stuff oh my god i'm like profusely sweating this is a fucking workout i actually made way more progress than i thought i would these are all pants that i'm getting rid of or giving like away and i hung up a lot more pants that I had folded. It is very tight, but it's just like what works for me for right now. I noticed a lot of my parachute pants would get so wrinkled when they were in this drawer. So I put them in there. It's very jam packed, but I pretty much know where everything is. So it shall work for now. And I had all my skirts and my shorts hung up, but I just don't have space to have them hung up like that. So I'm gonna fold them in this drawer. We're just kind of swapping because it wasn't really functional with this situation. Okay, here's the before. And just like that, it is gorgeous. I actually am so happy with how this turned out. Now I'm just hanging up some shirts and then I'm gonna be done for the night. It's literally 10.30 right now. I started this at like 3.30 and I'm getting like so wheezy because it's so dusty in here. I vacuumed and dusted and cleaned so much and I am not doing great. I'm so allergic to dust, it's disgusting.
Okay, it's a few days later now and my closet is finally all cleaned. I have two huge garbage bags filled of clothes that I'm getting rid of and I'm so proud of myself. I haven't gotten rid of that amount of clothes in such a freaking long time. I got rid of things that I even like, which is my biggest issue. Like I'll keep things because I like them, but I just don't wear them anymore. I already wore them to a big event and I'm not gonna wear it again, but I like the piece of clothing, so I don't wanna get rid of it. That's my biggest issue. So I actually was getting rid of things that I like this time. So it was really hard, but I did it. My closet is so organized right now. I feel so good. I dusted like every crevice of my closet i organized even the bins that i have on top of it like everything's cleaned i threw so much stuff out that i don't need and i just feel so good so decluttered this is your sign if you need to clean anything in your home organize anything in your home do it it'll make you feel so good about yourself your space everything i feel like my mind is just so clear i have fashion week this week and i have a bunch of outfits over here and i feel like i wouldn't have been able to plan out these outfits if my space was a mess so yeah i'm just feeling great i'll show you guys okay here is what my closet looks like when you first walk in i ordered an extra one of these rolling things for some extra products because i just get so much pr that i want to try out and i ran out of space so that has been a game changer I have so much extra room now on the back one. Here I just have a bunch of stuff out for fashion week I need to pack. So that's that. I'm staying in the city for fashion week with Brooke, Brittany, and Sam. So stay tuned for that vlog. It's going to be so good. But yeah, planning out all my outfits and stuff. I also just like putting newer pieces that I want to wear on this. Have my shoes all on display. And I put some YSL beauty packages on display up there because they're pretty. Have my desk all cleaned like she's slaying. It just looks so good. I love it. I dusted even my perfumes, guys. Like I really, really, really went in. Boo loves it. She's such a little girl. She's such a curly girl. And then over here, I have my jewelry organizer. I'm obsessed with this. I honestly, this is the one thing that I still need to kind of go through. I feel like I have a lot of jewelry that I don't wear, but I really do love having this. It's so useful and keeps my jewelry so organized. And then in here, this thing I got for my tote bags has been a game changer because I had them all on a hanger and it was taking up so much closet space. So this is really nice. I think I'm gonna get another one for the other closet and like put other things on it, but love that. All of my pants are really organized too. I feel like this has just been really great. I can kind of see everything that I have. It still is a little bit smushed in, but hey, at least it's organized. I also keep some camera equipment in here and then I have my shoes in the back and those are all really organized too. I'm so freaking proud of myself. Up here I have a bunch of sweatshirts folded nicely, which we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> okay, then for my big main part of my closet, I think it looks so good. All of the colors, I don't know, it just like looks so pretty to me. Over here I have all of my dresses color coded. I always have my closet color coded no matter how messy it is. So that's one thing I'll always do. But yeah, I just have all my dresses here. I honestly need to bring some to my parents house now that it's about to be fall because i'm not gonna be wearing all these but yeah and then i have a bunch of shoes underneath on this side i have all my tops just color coded all nicely and cute pretty love it here's all my bags also color coded because i'm psychotic but it looks just so good i also do want to get another one of these and put it on this side and put some of my nicer bags on display like that because i feel like they're all kind of like squished in but i love how it looks i also ordered this off of amazon the other day and this has been really nice because my sunglasses were just kind of like thrown in here so this makes it really nice i can spin it around it's a little jammed in but it's better than what we had going on before but yeah this way all my sunglasses are nice and organized okay this straw is not doing too hot but it's just like tube tops and corsets and stuff she doesn't need to be perfect she's hidden okay and here i have my workout sets which actually is organized so that's a slide and then on the bottom i just have all my hats and some sunglass cases and stuff then in this closet she is stunning honestly we have more shoes on the bottom i have a shoe problem i just have a clothing problem i just love clothes what can i say but these are all of my like 
Actually, not all of them. I have a lot of sweaters at my parents' house because I have my fall and winter stuff there. And I have a lot of jackets there. So I don't know what's gonna happen when I bring those over here. I am a little scared, but <laughs> yeah, we have a bunch of coats and all the rest of my sweatshirts. And then when it comes to my drawers, this one's bras, she's not too hot. This is underwear and socks, kind of stuffed in there because I just did laundry. Okay, you know what? Pajamas don't need to be organized, it's fine. <laughs> Swimsuits, just chucked in there, um, you know. These were organized. Okay, this one stayed. This one's really nice. I have like all my skirts and shorts and some other pants that aren't hung up. This draw is really nice. These two were right after I filmed this, um, but you know, things happen, life happens. And then these are my sweatpants and the bottom draw, they're really dimmed in there, but yeah. That is pretty much everything in my closet. I literally love my closet so much. I'm so grateful for it. This space is something that I've like always dreamed of having and I'm just so happy to have it nice and organized now. It literally feels like it's my own little boutique. Like picking out my sunglasses, like I literally feel like I'm in a boutique and it's so fun. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for helping me clean my closet. You guys honestly motivated me to keep going. I probably wouldn't have gotten as much done if I was not filming the process. So love you guys a lot for that. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.